In this series, we are trying to understand projection of vectors, whether it is scalar or vector projection. Question C2 is, explain why it is not possible to obtain scalar or vector projection of any non-zero vector on zero vector. So that's a very interesting question and we can answer it in a couple of ways. So let me first give you answer with reference to the formula itself. So what is the formula for scalar projection? We say scalar projection is, let's say scalar projection of vector A on B, right? In that case, scalar projection of A on B is written as dot product of A and B over the magnitude of vector B. Now, if you are trying to project a non-zero vector, let us say A is our non-zero vector on B, and in this case, B becomes our zero vector. In that case, what do we get in the denominator? Magnitude of zero vector, which is zero. So anything divided by zero is not really a number which we can reach, right? So it's invalid. Therefore, mathematically, it is not possible to calculate it. Correct? Similarly, if we have a formula for vector projection, then what is that formula? Vector projection is is the same formula with a direction in the unit vector direction. So it is like a dot b over magnitude of b square in the direction of vector b, right? Now here also we have magnitude of b in the denominator and our magnitude is zero. You can't divide by zero. It is invalid. And therefore we can say or reason out that there is no possibility of having a scalar or vector projection of any non-zero vector on zero vector. Right? That is one thing. And second thing is, after all what is a zero vector? A zero vector has zero dimensions, magnitude is zero, that means, but undefined direction, right? Since its direction is undefined, we cannot really have a vector projection on it. And as far as the scalar projection is concerned, it's kind of difficult to give an interpretation. Now, you could say, well, where to project it? Right? That is probably the reason why we say scalar projection geometrically is not possible on zero vector. So in any case, in any case, the formula is a good explanation why we cannot have scalar or vector projection of any non-zero vector, or for that matter, of even zero vector, on a zero vector. I hope you understand. Thank you.